Hi, from Bali, Indonesia. We just finished global NLP training over here. And the question I was asked was, how do you set an auditory anchor? Well, you may remember a few from the training. For instance, when somebody asks a question um, and the answer is coming later in the course, we would say the answers are contained within the course. Or when someone asks a critical question, then we would say, Trust the process, it's gonna happen, you're gonna get it, you're gonna experience it, you're gonna change pieces within yourselves, right? Or when somebody asks a question and we'd rather have you experience it, I would say, perhaps, as an answer. Uh, other ones that you may remember are things like, um, anytime you have to select someone to work with, I would say, pick someone you don't like the look of, or pick someone you do like the look of. Or one, of, one that I get a lot of amusement from is uh, saying when I'm explaining things like negative self-talk, I would say, especially one of you, and you know who you are. Those are all auditory anchors. There are certain uh, words or sentences that you say in a certain tonality by which when you have elicited a state especially, then you can actually anchor that. Even without much state elicitation, repeating the same answer, uh, uh, the same word or sentence over and over, you will end up anchoring it. In my case, I tend to anchor it to the, uh, the experience, which is an elic elicitation in itself, an experience of the training itself. And I know that my students around the world, anytime when they think of global NLP training, they often think of about these sentences. I often see it on Facebook. The answers are contained within the course or when I hear someone say something similar, they think of global NLP training. So I hope that answers your question. Bye from Bali.